Welcome to another episode of Collection Archives, where we dive to different items in my collection. Today we're looking into the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America. This figure comes from the MCU, from the first installment of the Captain America movies. Captain America is one of the big three, together with Thor and Iron Man. I've had the honor of displaying Captain America in different stages of my collection. This is because he appeared in a handful of teams in the comics, such as Cap's Cookie Quartet, leading the New Avengers, Secret Avengers, Captain Rogers becoming Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., or when Captain America with Bucky, Namor and the Human Torch saved the life of British Prime Minister Winston Churchill during World War II and thus forming the Invaders. With the now out of production Marvel Universe line from Hasbro, you were able to form many teams, as these figures were 3.75 inches small and were of course budget friendly toys. I was lucky enough to have purchased several of these figures back in the day. Captain America's courage and willingness to make the tough calls is something that I have admired and enjoyed reading throughout the many adventures of Captain America in the comics. So this Captain America with this suit comes right after the US Army acknowledges Steve Rogers' war efforts by infiltrating a Hydra weapons facility behind enemy lines and releasing allied prisoners of war successfully. The US military under Colonel Phillips' guidance then entrusts Captain America and a team of Howling Commandos to take down Hydra under leader Johann Schmidt, also known as the Red Skull, which by the way, he already has an archive. What stands out about this figure is the Second World War era uniform likeness shaped with Captain America's color and style. This classic hot toy has a complex tailoring as the shirt, though visibly layered, is all joined together as one garment with shoulder pads that are connected to the top and continue down to the suspenders on the back. The front red straps look absolutely amazing too. You can also see the extended complexity in the military pants and a cool looking leather like gun holster fully attached to the right leg with a belt. I very much like the sculpted weapons for this figure. Certainly the Thompson submachine gun leaves a good impression, especially on Hydra soldiers. Here, Cap is wearing the called automatic pistol, as he is seen in the first Avenger classic trailer when Cap and his team blasts a door and go right in. But what is Captain America without his shield? And the first time he gets a powerful shield, it is with this costume. As you remember, Howard Stark made it from vibranium material. However, unlike the real one, mine, as you can see, is all chipped due to the hot weather and time. So I had to be careful when I took these pictures as the shield was indeed flaking. What I'm trying to convey with this pose is Captain America on the final mission in the movie when he manages to infiltrate Red Skull's secret vase and of course, he has the love of his life by his side, Agent Carter. And that's why they are together wearing these costumes. But unfortunately, this is also the last time they would see each other as Cap then heroically goes down in ice with a hydroplane in order to save the world. So you can see this figure has a lot of meaning to me. And by the way, this was my first Hot Toys from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I hope they make other Hot Toys from this movie. Certainly, Dr. Arnim Sola should have a figure. Or Colonel Phillips. In that way, we get a Hot Toys Tommy Lee Jones. Well guys, let's wrap up this archives entry. Thank you for watching and until the next time, do not forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>